I'm Harley Moran with Sound Guys, and I'm here on the ground in Las Vegas for CES 2024. We just finished a demo with Brandenburg Labs where they showed us their version of spatial audio. Now, at first, I'm going to admit I was a little skeptical going in because, you know, all the companies nowadays, like Apple, Bose, have their own implementation of spatial audio, and it sounds fine. But Brandenburg actually invited us because they feel like they've solved the spatial audio problem. The problem we try to solve for many years now and now really solve it with the company is to get audio over headphones sound like a real audio source in the room somewhere else. So how is this implementation uh, kind of setting itself apart from the likes of Bose, Apple and whatnot? From all the others I heard, I would say the big difference is ours works. <laughs> Here we do a measurement of the room and we get plausibility, which more than 800 people from the audio world, including people from Apple, Microsoft and so on, have told us is far better than anything else. So the way this spatial audio demo works is they had a stand in the middle of the room, which they had already uh, recorded the room characteristics of, and they've set up these like infrared sensors. And so the first thing they did was played music back on just a traditional pair of speakers. And then after that, they had us put on their headphones, which had a like HTC Vive tracker on it. And then they immediately switched to the headphones. They even invited us to do uh, things like walk around the room, turn around, or even like duck, duck and cover, uh, just to show how fast the tracking was. I mean, the tracking is definitely much more accurate than what you get with, you know, Apple because and Bose. They just have IMUs, but there's definitely a precision that I'd never experienced with Apple Spatial and stuff. Oh wow! It, it sounds like it's still like the exact same as the speakers. Like it honestly sounds like I didn't even put headphones on. Oh yeah, it sounds like it's a little bit above me now, and then... Cool. Yeah, yeah, there's like definitely like verticality to it. Wow. But just from, yeah, taking, putting the headphones on for the first time, it just, it felt like no difference, you know, from when I was standing there listening to it. That's amazing, yeah. Can I try it one more time? <laughs> <laughs> With the system right now in your demo, is the secret sauce just the software? In the moment, it's in the software, but we want to build specialized hardware for it because, uh, as you say, as you see, these headphones still need the trackers on top and so on. We want to make it easier for people just to have these special headphones, to put them on, everything works. Now, although the demo was cool, there is that big caveat you, which you probably saw, which is that in order to even do this demo, they had to calibrate the room or they had to record the room characteristics and they had to set up all of these infrared emitters. So you're probably wondering with a setup as complicated as this, what are the applications for Brandenburg Spatial Audio? For the moment, this setup is something a lot of people from studios who do mixing themselves have told us they would like to get such a system, even if it still looks like a do it yourself, right, <laughs> right. getting everything together. There's a number of consumer applications you could think of. Mm -hmm. There's some in between, for example, museums and so on. They are very interested already as well. So many useful applications down the line. You just don't maybe not see right now with the off-the-shelf parts, but in the future, as the hardware becomes more specialized, coupled with iterations in software, like I, I'm very excited to see like where this goes. And, like, thank you so much for the demo here. You're very welcome. Now, thanks again so much for Brandenburg for showing us a spatial audio demo. But what do you guys think? Are you guys think this is a cool interpretation of spatial audio? Let us know in the comments down below. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for our full coverage of CES 2024. I'm Harley Moran with Sound Guys. Happy listening.